you've done on Cawdor? Are those in commission not yet returned? My liege, they are not yet come back. But I have spoke with one who did summon die, and that did report, and very frankly, he confessed the treasons, and told your highness pardon, and set forth a deep repentance. Nothing in his life became him like believing it. He died as if he were once studied in his own deck, and fell away the dearest thing he owned, as for a careless trifle. There's no art to find the mind's construction in the face. He was a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. Oh, Boreas, cousin, the sin of my ingratitude even now was heavy upon me. Thou art so far before that the swiftest wing of recompense was slow to overtake thee. That hast no less deserved that the proportion of both thanks and payment might have been mine. Only I have left to say more as thy due than more than all can pay. The service and loyalty I owe in doing it pays itself. Your highness pardons to receive our duties, and our duties are to your throne and state, children of servants, who do but what they should by doing everything safe with love and honor. Welcome hither. I have begun to plant thee and will make thee full of growing. Noble Banquo, that has no less deserved, nor must be known, no less to have done so. Let me enfold thee and hold thee to mine heart. Here, if I grow, the harvest is your own. Sons, kinsmen, thanes, and those whose places are the nearest, know that we will establish our estate upon our eldest Macro, whom we name hereafter the Prince of Cumberland. And strength, not unaccompanied, must invest him only, but signs of nobleness, like stars, shall shine on all deservers from hence to Inverness. I'll be myself the harbinger, and uh, make joyful the hearing of my wife with your approach. So humbly, I take my leave, my worthy Cawdor. The Prince of Cumberland, that is a step on which I must fall down, for in my way it lies. Stars, hydrofires, let not light see my black and deep desires. The eye wink is the hand, yet let that be which the eye fears when it is done to see. True, Dr. Beckford. He is full so valiant, and in his commendations I am fed. It is a banquet to me. Let's after him, whose care is gone before, to bid us welcome 